Anti-ship missile model can help Ukraine deter Russia The large range and ability to fly close to the sea surface of the Harpoon missile can threaten Russian warships and help Ukraine break the blockade on the Black Sea. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said on May 23 that Denmark will deliver a Harpoon anti-ship missile system to Ukraine. Experts say this missile model can threaten Russian warships operating off the coast of Ukraine and partially limit the ongoing sea blockade. The U.S. official did not say whether the Harpoon version would be delivered by Denmark to Ukraine. Denmark is operating the RGM-84L4 Harpoon Block II variant capable of striking ships at sea, as well as targets in ports and on land. The country used to service the RGM-84A Block I with less performance in the 1990s, before putting them into storage in 2003. This is an important step to increase the capacity and combat intensity of Ukrainian forces. Harpoon missiles can threaten Russian warships in the Black Sea, said Tom Karako, an expert at the Center for Strategic Studies and American International, Review. Harpoon is an anti-ship cruise missile developed by the American company McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, and put into service in 1977. This is one of the most popular anti-ship missiles in the world present in the army of more than 30 countries with about 7,500 bullets shipped. It was used in the wars in Iran and Libya in the 1980s. The basic Harpoon missile is 3.8 to 4.6 meters long, 34 centimeters in diameter, weighs nearly 700 kilograms, carries a high explosive warhead weighing 221 kilograms has a range of 130 to 300 kilometers depending on variations and a maximum speed of 865 kilometers h. Harpoon can be launched from aircraft, ground launchers, surface ships and submarines. Harpoon's strength is the ability to fly close to the sea surface, making it very difficult for enemy ships to detect and deal with. The original Harpoon version only specialized in attacking ships while later variants added the ability to attack land targets. In anti-ship missions, radar from aircraft and warships will detect targets and load parameters for missiles. The inertial guidance system will guide the projectile to a predetermined area, then the active radar detector will activate to track and control the missile to the target. The Block II variant adds a satellite navigation system to attack ground targets and ships in the port. While the active radar can track objects thanks to the contrast with the surrounding environment, land launched anti ship missiles are considered a significant threat to Russian warships in the Black Sea. Ukraine's military claims that two of its Neptune anti ship missiles hit the cruiser Moskva, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea fleet, causing it to sink off the city of Odessa in mid April. 